Omega, Omega 5, 5 Studios. Okay. Are there any doorways? Am I... Say... You do not see any... You do not see any doorways. It looks as if this hallway is about 100 foot long. And looks as if it ends at a corner on both ends of the building. Wow. Okay, I, I walk, I guess. Start making my way. Alright, you head down to... Uh, which direction do you go, north or south? Just for... Always north. Always north. Alright, you find a corner room, and we're gonna go ahead and go over to Jake, then. You find the same thing. You are in this <laughs> hallway with paintings. Uh-oh. Hey, oh. Hello. Oh. Watch. Hello. We're just, we're robbing a mansion. <laughs> nice. Alright, I was there. Is there any relevance to the paintings that I see? Only a perception. Not another one. There's gonna be a lot of those. D and D, D and D, Dustin. All right, I won't let her up. My bad. No, I mean you're good. You're good. You can stick around. Oh, yeah. I am the worst person to ask for that. Uh, that's a straight eleven. I mean, they're paintings. They look pretty nice. Yeah, he went to the north? Yes, he went to the north. How far is the uh, door to the south? Uh, the corner room at the south is probably about 50 foot away from you. Mm, I don't have enough movement speed to get over there right now. I mean, now, we're, we're, not in, we're not in <laughs> initiative, like, encounter style. We're just going in initiative order. <laughs> so you can make your way all the way down. Alright, I... Well, if he's going to be only... Well, he's... From where we're started at, how far did he go? He went about 50 foot. Jesus Christ, this is a long hallway. Yeah. Okay, um... I'm going to sneak over to the southern door to check out to see if It I... is not a door, sir. It is an open corner-style room that appears to be packed full of roped-up furniture and boxes. No, no, no wow. items, no... Just boxes and furniture? All right. Yeah, pretty much. Um, hmm. Well, at that point, I guess, uh, seeing nobody and nothing of interest, I'll remember that to check the boxes later. I'm gonna make my way back. He thinks there's a later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Alright, well, at that point, I'm gonna inspect one of the boxes <laughs> before I make my way Okay, back. roll me investigation. Alright. Oh, that I at least have a plus two in. Oh, dirty 20, 19 pl or 18 plus two. You find what looks to be a gold-plated fountain pen in a box, like like a, a storage case inside one of the boxes. Pro probably worth about three gold. The Lord yoinketh and I. The Lord yeeteth and I yoink away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is going to bring us to Bobby. You are still in the reception hall. Yes. You are still a cow. I am still a cow. Alright, what do you want to try to do? I use my bonus action and be unbecome a cow. <laughs> okay, you are now a biped. Congratulations. I am a biped. I biped achieved, un achievement unlocked. <laughs> I go up to that door and try opening it. The, the unbarred door. It opens with a click. Nice. So the door that can be open leads into a seemingly barren hallway full of empty portraits, all of them filled with red X marks, the wood around them slightly scratched in places. Looks like there's a door at the far end, but not much else. Uh, um, how long does that spell last, Beast Ball? Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to head see them to activate it. Uh, the, well, isn't the cow in the same room? You left them outside. I can. Okay. I I, I tell Bessie to walk down that hallway. It's, it's, uh, Celeste to walk down that. Celeste hallway. walks down the hallway to the door. I tell Celeste as the 
as she's walking down, hit every single painting off the wall. <laughs> she she successfully knocks most of them down with a lot of noise. And then everything explodes. Boom. <laughs> no, I mean nothing happens. They just clatter the floor. Okay. <laughs> I. I tell Celeste to stay in that hallway. I try the other door, and that will end my turn. I need to start opening some documents. <clears throat> I'll try. This is gonna be fun. You're gonna open. You're gonna I open mean, the door. I said I'll try. I didn't say. I would open well, I mean, this is a very narrow hallway as well. Is Celeste still in there? Yeah. Well, then, you, then she is standing in front of the door. I, I slid, so she's on one end of the hallway, I'm on the other end. Oh, so y'all switched around? Yeah, I, I said I slid the past. Okay. So you're gonna um, open the door. I, I said I'll try, like, I'll okay. see if it then will we like, will yeah. move over yeah. to Zoltan. Like, I'm not opening the door. Edward, I'm not opening the door. <laughs> 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 the paranoia! <laughs> Alright. Zoltan, you just helped pick up a bunch of alcohol. Congratulations. What would you uh, like to do? I guess I'm going to head to the uh, end of the hallway, you know, opposite of where we came in. And All I guess right. do a perception check on the door before I try to open it. All right, <laughs> throw me a d20. All right. Uh, where's my perception? Oh, plus seven? All right, well... Uh, dirty 19. You do not see any movement on the other side. Oh, wait, you're just looking at the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's a normal door. door. It's it's a normal door. No traps or anything. I got it. All right. But I actually, I, Garrett, I want to thank you. I forgot to say. So anytime y'all move now, I need you to roll me an extra d20. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta roll another one? Well, no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. I'll let you know. Alright, so I guess, uh, do I have enough, uh, movement or whatever to. Y'all are not in combat, so around? you can look through the door. Yeah, alright, so I poke my head through and look around. It's dead still and dark. You see a large table. This is probably the dining room. That's about all you can get while peeking through. Alright, well then I'll head on through slowly. Right, you get just on the other side. See a huge table capable of sitting 20 stretched across a carpet with a giant emblem of the Blightbeard family underneath it. This emblem is on every tapestry hanging on the walls as well. An outline of a squat face with a blazing fiery beard, one eye closed and the other scarred close to the world. All right. How how tall are the ceilings? Would you say? They're probably they're probably about uh, good fifteen foot up. They're vaulted ceilings. All right. All right, and we will move to Sid then. All right. Uh, I would like to take a crack at the um, the locked door. You're gonna go back to the kitchen. Yeah. All right, roll me a d20. Twelve. Okay, you're good. You get to the door. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to take my short sword and do a sleight of hand. You're going to try to do one of the locks? Yeah. <laughs> going to do the old credit card shimmy. All uh, right. So you get to the first lock. Roll me a sleight of hand. Natural 20. You unlock it. Yeah. It unlocks. Oh, nice. Uh, All right. Well, you're going to leave it at that for the moment. You're going to take a minute to get through these. <laughs> and that is back to jam. Okay, and you reminded me of something. 
So the inside of the mansion is now is it pitch black. It's dark. It it y'all are in here during the night. It is not pitch black, okay. but y'all are in the city, so there is just enough light to see. Low light. Well, okay. does it matter? Because I have dark vision. You would be fine. So, you would be fine. Okay. Okay. Just just want to put that out there. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Because I, I did actually forget about that myself. Uh, 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 DM. DM. Yeah. I have dark vision. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jake. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just such a joke at this point of people reminding the DM. Oh, I have dark vision. <laughs> it's fucking black. You can't see your hand in front of your face. Oh, DM. I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. Fun yeah. Fact, uh, the monkey does not. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Well, I mean, it's still bright enough for you to see. Yeah. Okay. It's dimly. So, Jam, do you go into the corner room? Uh, because you said we have to, whenever we walk, you said natural or, uh... If, if you're going into the corner room, I need a d20 roll. Sure. No. Dark, shadowy figures. It's a full... Ah, this is interesting. No. As soon as you cross, as soon as the tiles change color, you hear a chink as, just by a millimeter... A tile you step on falls. I need you to give me a dex save. A dex save. 15 plus 6, 21. You barely get out of the way as a set of steel spikes eject from the ceiling, revealing holes where they were mounted, piercing wow. through the tiles below and ruining some of the furniture in this room. Oh, it wasn't just on where he was at. It, it's just the corner room, not oh, the hallway. The whole corner room. The whole corner room. The whole corner room. Damn. Was there another doorway on the other side? So there, there are no doors. Doorway. There are no doors. Oh. It's just a transition. Okay, okay. So you enter a small room with posh, very fluffy, and now shredded-looking furniture. A few so, single seats and a large corner couch in a burgundy color with golden loops hanging on each section. Fireplace sits in the corner, the inner corner, not used recently, but at least obviously used at some point, with some ash still left in the bottom. Can I investigate any of it? Uh, roll me perception. What, what are you trying to look at specifically? Do you just want to do a general perception, or do you want to investigate something specifically? The gold. They're sure it's, it's golden actual... loops. Like, they are actually... Like, roll me investigation, I guess. Like, this is... An eight plus a negative two, so it's six. Oh. Uh, they're shiny. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll pocket them. Okay. I, I mean, to be absolutely fair, they are actual gold. Okay, okay. Like, I I would like to think you could get that verified relatively easily. I only made that a freaking DC-10. And still, okay. Okay. So you're in there, we're going to go to Jake. Jake imagines that the people that River and all them that hired us are, like, huddled around, like, a scrying orb. Just watching all this go down. That is that is that is literally what's happening. Fucking called it. Um, no, from a, from the other side of the hallway. Quin Quincy at this, this point has actually tried to start taking bets on who's gonna live. They're probably sitting there like, oh, it was probably a good call sending the cowboy and the fucking cow through the front door alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe the two climbers fell off a fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Goddamn uh, bird guy and the weird elf, or, or what are you? Zoltan? You're an yeah. elf. <clears throat> yeah, an elf. You're doing phenomenal so far. See, they found the liquor cabinet. <laughs> but from down the hall, uh, Jake is going to see all this blurry shadows moving. He's like, ah. It's a hell of a trap. Oh, you, yeah, you hear it. Gnomes, you hear it as well. More... I was going to say gnomes are good for setting traps, but I think this is dwarven. That's overkill. The whole goddamn. He's, he's like thinking this as he's walking up to the room behind Jam. Like... More, more than likely, Jake oh, would God. know that the Blightbeard family was dwarven. Yeah. And somewhere on a weird continent in a destroyed freezer, a body shivers. 
<laughs> he got it. He got it. There you go. Okay. Don't think I forgot that when Bosch was gonna make fucking chili out of that bitch. chili. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you are a hundred foot away from Jam. You just heard a moderately loud noise from all the way at the other end of this hallway. So, so when we got in the hallway, you said there was two corner rooms. Is there stairs leading down? You have not point? found them. Oh dear God. <laughs> Alright, well... You do uh, know that the uh, museum room is on the lower floor in the center of the building. And that was... Yeah, that was the target he was talking about. Yes. Uh, I will re try to regroup with Jam. I'll go ahead and roll my d20 for you. Is, is there any modifier for the... No, straight roll. Straight roll. Well, thank God I picked good dice for this. That's a 16. Nothing happens as you make your way over to Jam. And we are going to move back to Bobby. Bobby. Alrighty, I am at the door, not opening the door. I <laughs> roll for stealth. <laughs> the first stealth roll. I fucked it up. What is it? Uh, that's a four plus. <laughs> I mean, okay, you have a seven stealth. Just you think you're being stealthy, basically. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you accidentally yeah. left your spurs on. Uh, I, uh, I stealthily open the door. Alright, are you crossing into it? It looks like this might be some kind of office, but there's papers everywhere in the small section you can see. Do you go in? Uh, yeah, because, like, right now I'm, like, sticking my head out of this tiny little crack in the door, just looking, dying yeah. eyes back and forth. Do you go in? Uh, I open the door. So loud! Charge! Roll me a d20. That is a 8. As you start stepping on the carpet, you hear a very strange... I, I, uh, it, oh, you sent Celeste in. Uh, yeah, I sent oh, Celeste. Oh, as Celeste walks in, one of her hooves catches on something, and you hear a... <laughs> noise. And suddenly the floor dematerializes underneath her. Oh no. This is a cow. And cannot make a deck save. No, no, he cannot. And falls into a 50 foot deep pit. Wow. wow. I'm going to roll 5d6 for this animal that has 8 health. And that is already 10 damage, and I have one left yeah. to roll. <laughs> Celeste dies dead. at the bottom, and the floor rematerializes. Well, uh, you lose some, you win some. Don't make up for you, buddy. Pulling up for Celeste. Yeah. yeah. No love for the cow, huh? <laughs> I just want to say that I, I imagine how our DM campaigns are going to go when the new lore comes out, because they're making a new celestial race, which is basically Egyptian gods. Ooh. Like humans with animal heads. And oh, wow. considering what I know of Egyptian uh, religion, uh, there is one with a cow head that's like yeah, a fur. Yeah, I, I believe so. <clears throat> yeah, um... Kind of rent, uh, rage filled, wrathful. You know, yeah. As, as Celeste will come back to haunt somebody, mm -hmm. specifically Bobby's descendants. Yeah. But I that means we are going to move back to Zoltan as Bobby Shit. watches Celeste die. Oh, damn! Did you even shed a tear for Celeste? The angels. The angels. The angels. Oddly enough, Zoltan does not hear anything. Ah, okay. Good enough. Alright, so I keep. Uh, take a look around for uh, any other exits, or is it just the one door on the opposite side? Most of the doors in this room look to be barred. However, there does appear to be one that is open. Well, 
openable. Does, in, does anything in here look odds, like out of the ordinary or valuable? <laughs> Roll me a perception. Ah, a bug got in my eye. <laughs> Oof. No, I got, got a net one. Yeah, I, apparently I can't see shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, un unfortunately, yeah, this is a dining room. I can't really give you anything with that. Sorry. Alright, well, I'm gonna move through to the door that looks like it might be open. Alright, you head to the door, and that means, Sid, you are back in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, where I just opened that lock door. You opened one of the five locks. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Want me to slide a hand? Alright. Uh, five. You unfortunately do not manage to unlock this one, and somehow the lock that you had pulled off the door and was on the ground flies back up and relocks on the door. Do you want do you want to try one more? Sure. You do also hear like a slight buzz from the door when you fail. Bang. Nineteen. <laughs> you un you unlock the one that you unlocked before. And that means jam. Alright, so I'm still in the room. So I'm guessing... So you said it was a, a square room. Square... So, so is the hallway we're in, like, the, the, the outside of it? The, the perimeter, I guess, would be the word? Basically, it, it's an open format that leads directly into it with no transition. Okay, okay. And also, I... it's all full of holes now. Thank you for reminding me. I failed. Thank you. <laughs> That's the damn job. <laughs> okay, so I, I got the gold. I think I, I just continue on. Continue on down the, the path. Okay, so you go oh, out yeah. the exit. Do I also have to do a D20? Yes, you do. Because there is a very short hallway that you transition to before a door. Alright. You have to be kidding me. Oh, it's a 9. That's not that bad. Give me a deck save. Eat that, I got a 6 plus 6 at 12. The floor dematerializes underneath you have jam. Me. That's not enough? <laughs> okay. You're gonna give me the Celeste treatment? <laughs> that is 18 bludgeoning damage as you hit the bottom oh of this pit. God. But, slow fall. Okay, you can reduce it to zero, but you are at the bottom of this 50-foot pit. I should have chosen the other trap. I forgot you had that. Celeste down there? Actually, actually yes. Celeste is down there with you. Or, oof. Uh, I'd pour one out for Celeste. Hold on. You, you, you land down there softly, and it's like, What the hell?! You're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake. Uh, I'm assuming I'm still on my way to the. Yeah, room you're heading to the corner room. Shadow, just yank straight. <laughs> yeah, just as you peek your head into the corner room and roll me that d20, you see jam fall through the floor in the next hallway. <laughs> Alright, that's a for my movement d20. That's an 18. Okay. Nothing else happens. Cool. Uh, is the floor still open? <laughs> yes. I would like to... So if I peer in the, in, through the floor, do I see the downstairs and then the hole that they're in? You only like see the floor? hole they're in. Hmm. Uh, that's, that's weird. Uh, that's a temp. Yeah, so, Jam, you see Jake's face poke out. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm going to use my cantrip of message and point a finger at him. 
<laughs> and whisper, and he hears, uh, so, uh, you have a fun fall? You're and what's with the dead cow? Oh, let's see, you can cast both through, oh, I could cast it through solid objects, too. Okay, I thought. Yeah, I think, open. yeah, message works that way. Magic, magical silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood block of stone. But this is a uh, metal, if right? that, yeah, okay, you would have to see him in that case. Yeah. Well, I, I am looking down the hole. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure. Like, if you walk ahead. away, it's not going to work. The spell doesn't have to follow straight line a, a, a straight line and travel freely around corners or through openings. That is. Oh, okay. A through, okay. Weird spell. If if that's the case, apologies. I didn't realize it no, you're included good. that. I, I have a bad habit of reading like the first part, reacting to it, reading the next part, reacting to it. You're good, but no. Uh, jam has fallen. Is there anything you want to do? I have. I don't know if I have rope. I have. Nice. I'm going to attempt to. Is there anything heavy in the room I can try to tie the rope? There's off furniture. I'm not gonna be able to hold him. There's furniture. Cool. I'm you can to tie to it to the hearth. I'm trying to remember, that's usually a fireplace. Yeah, it appears as if there's a grate that's bolted down to the ground as part of it. Cool. Nice. I have 50 feet of rope. Can I do the 25 down and tw is it 25 over enough? With, with a jump, I think it would be enough for him to reach All it. Because right. he, he isn't doing. very far out of the room. You could basically just dangle it down. It would almost reach him. Alright, cool. That's what I'll do. I'll tie it off at the hearth and uh, throw the rest down to him with, with my match of spells. Like, hey, uh... Let's see that acrobatics in, in action one more time there, good buddy. <laughs> All right, and with that, we will go to Bobby. Bobby! I love you have just it. seen Celeste die. Yeah. Bobby? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? You completely <laughs> went silent. Uh, sorry, I don't know why Discord's being weird. Uh, I have nothing to prevent falling. Uh, do I have rope? I thought, wait, didn't the hole close for him? Yeah, it closed. Yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, do I see him looking down in the hole as well? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything that I see, I'm not moving, that I can tie a rope to? No. Nothing. This is a bare yeah, hallway. Yeah, yeah. This is a bare hallway. Yeah. I mean, if you want to try to create something, you're gonna to have to it's a convince me. Fucking house. Rich people—they're very, very weird. Uh. Oh, person. <laughs> uh, could an ice knife do it? What are you trying to do, Garrett? What do you mean? Just... I may put a rope around me so I don't fall. Well, you are in a 40-foot long barren hallway with the door at both ends. Yeah, I have nothing to embrace. Sorry, uh, like, when I see a cow fall, uh... <laughs> uh... Fuck it. I will first toss like a uh, one of the paintings onto the floor without moving. Okay, you toss a Just, painting frame. Yeah. Does it do anything? Does it the clatters to the floor. Okay. Uh. Uh. I. Uh. Do do. I'm sorry about this, but is there anything that I see, like a chair or anything? There is a large there? wooden desk off to your right adjacent, a bunch of cabinets, that kind of okay, thing. I, that desk, I, I, I know I have to roll a d20. Um, I sprint towards that desk. Alright, roll me a d20. Luckily, I rolled it. Everyone saw it's a 17. Okay. Yeah, nothing happens. Okay. I'm on top of the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, uh, sorry, I forgot to open this. Ba-ba-da-ba! -ba -da -ba. 
This office has been ransacked, but you can't tell why exactly. The drawers of the desk are open, shredded papers are everywhere, covered in what appear to be ledgers from various years. The cabinets appear to have some loose coin and trinkets easily taken, but why have they been left exactly if someone searched this place already? They, uh, take the trinkets and stuff. Okay, you go up to one of the cabinets. It looks like there are four golden statues in it. They're, like, small, like keychains, I guess. A uh, horse, uh, uh, a horse. Yeah, a, a a rocker horse, like one of those toys you give a kid. What looks like a, a golden statue, a dwarf statue, and a forearm statue with a cloak of hands. Those were the four statues. Yes. Are you taking any of them? Yeah, I'm taking all of them. Oh Jesus. Um, you uh, go. Unless, you, you said they were small. You go for the first. One, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Sorry. Uh, d20, roll. I mean, good thing you're a druid, I guess. That's a 5 plus 4, 9? Bobby falls to the floor asleep. <laughs> as this rocker turn. horse clanks to the floor. You will only be asleep uh, like this for a short period. Don't worry about that. But that does that sprints. does end. Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry. What? What was he laughing? Jacob? Huh? What was that, Jacob? I said somewhere off in the distance you hear a vague Oh come the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to plug in my headphones. They're dying. Uh, and that is oh. Zoltan then. Alright. Well, I guess I don't want to get too far away from Sid. I didn't really see anything interesting in here. So I guess I'll head back. Okay, you're heading back to the kitchen? As far as I can, anyway. Head back to the kitchen? Yeah. Alright, it is as you saw before, and he is at the door. I'll just ask him, is there any luck? I managed to get one off, but when I got this thing off, it just, it like, came back on the door. Alright. Well, I guess, uh... I, can I give... Can I give him the help action? Yeah, if you want to. Uh, Y'all can try to undo two of these right now if you want to. And if... Eh, I suppose that would be with advantage because of help action. So we will go right to Sid. Alright. I'm gonna uh, lock the door. All right, give me sleight of hand, with advantage. You have one unlocked currently, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, nineteen. You unlock the second one. Do you want to try another? Yeah. Sorry about that. My uh, brother's uh, girlfriend's kid would put his, uh, his phone underneath the door where it was hitting this little whoopee cushion act, uh, app. Ah. <laughs> I was talking. Noise. Dear God. <laughs> so what? what's the second one, Sid? Ten. With a buzz, both the locks you have successfully taken off return to the door. Ah, son of a... Me. Alright, that is back to jam. Alright, I, uh, I climb the rope. Or do I, do I need to jump? Just give me an acrobatics. Acrobatics. That's a 5 plus 6, 11. Uh, it's a little slippery for your feet and you fall back down. Do you want to try one more time? Yes, please. Alright. That is a 1 plus 6, that's a 7. Jam is staying at the bottom on this turn. Jake? Gonna do the whole slap my forehead and drag my hand down my face. <laughs> um, is there anything else in this room? Like, does it lead anywhere else? Does it? Uh... There is a door, but currently it is inaccessible because of the pit. Damn. All right. Um. Oh, let me see something. Is there like a 
handle that I can open, or does it look locked? Or... It has a doorknob. You cannot tell if it's locked from this distance. Alright, I would like to use my mage hand to try to test the door to see if it's locked. It opens immediately. Alright, do I see anything? Like, is there light coming in from the outside? Out, other side of the door? Is nope, there like it's another... A weird butler someone... standing there staring at me? <laughs> uh, for a second you think you see the outline of Mortimer Tag, but you blink and it's gone. Uh, no, there is nothing that you can <laughs> immediately no discern. You see some very blocky furniture, what might be bookshelves along the walls. Go, mm, mm, mm. go, 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 go. Uh, oh, wait a second. Um, hmm. Give me one second, I'm looking at something. I'm trying to see if a strange use of a spell may help my, uh... <laughs> Oh no, it's only three feet above the ground. Never mind. I was gonna say maybe I can. I thought it was like ten feet above the ground. I could use snare to like try to get. Too him bad higher. we didn't bring the infinite thing of water. <laughs> no, it was my second choice, and I was like, wait, we're sneaking. Let me get the boots of Elven kind to get avenge on stealth, even though I have a plus fucking seven already. Even though nobody has actually rolled stealth except for the one person that didn't need it. <laughs> exactly. I imagine that in some kind of like, uh, I don't remember what the rooms are called when someone breaks in your house and there's like a panic room. Is that uh, what they're called? Panic yeah, rooms? I think I think panic. With room. all the mi different monitors checking on the house, I just see some. You could imagine some old ass dwarf in there, like, this is the greatest TV show I've ever seen in my day. <laughs> is there anything you want to do, Jake? The other, uh, there's nothing that I really can do. I can message him again. <laughs> I can. Press it. Press it. You, you you can just you can, you can probably help him with the blood on his clothes. Um, yeah, I'll press and digitate those away. Okay, they're no, clean. No, he's 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 close. He's further than ten feet away. Okay, you you, you still have bloody clothes there, Jam. You, yeah. Is this the cow's blood or my blood? Uh, it's the cow's blood. It's the cow's blood. I'm gonna make a nice faint odor of roses <laughs> between us and let it waft down. <laughs> Okay then, Bobby, you are on, you are unconscious on the floor, but you do wake yeah, up wake with up. a groggy feeling. You take three poison damage. Three poison damage. God damn. Okay. Uh. Um. Oh. You you. You have collected the rocker horse. I want to make oh, sure wait, that's I clear. Did? Yes. I was just about to ask that. You you have. Okay. You touch it again and nothing happens. Okay. Um. I'm glad you gave me the rocker horse. You said it's a tiny keychain. Yeah, basically. Okay. I mean, there's no like chain on it, but it's like the size of a keychain. I'm gonna roll for a perception just to see if there's anything else. That's well. I mean, there's 11. there's still three of uh, the statues if you wanted. Uh, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'll I'll make a note. Three other statues. Uh, there is about thirty gold in this room of assorted coin, as well. You can probably just go ahead and take that. Can I take that? Yeah. Yeah. Just like assorted, just coins all over the place that somebody didn't bother to pick up. I grab all the coins. So that's there about thirty gold. So is there anything you want to do in particular here? Uh, I roll for perception. You said there's nothing else besides the gold and the statues, right? Not that you have found. I, I did roll for perception. And yeah. you got an eleven. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. I know. I, I, uh, yeah, I know. If I didn't see anything else, I will. Uh, I will uh, walk. Uh, I will. Uh, you're, you're going uh, to well, the hallway. The w is there any other doors or anything? Nope. It's just back into the hallway. That yep. was that. There's. N you say if I leave, I have to roll. Yes. Right. I will. I will just go through everything, inch by inch. Because you said all the other doors were, like... So, do you want to roll hard. perception again? Just to see? Yeah. 
because you said all the other doors are barred, so there has to be a key or something. Well, there has to be something, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. There, there has oh, to be I'm, something. I'm saying there has to be something, too. Uh, that's an 8 plus, uh, 4. Alright, Bobby spins in place. I mean, I'm going through it. I know, I'm, I'm messing with you. But gen genuinely, there is something there you haven't found. Okay, or, and there is like... also something you have found, but haven't done anything with. Um, yeah, okay, like Zoltan. Are you still help actioning? Yeah, I suppose I'll still give him the help action to try to get this thing unlocked. Alright, I suppose, Sid, do you want to try to do another two of these? Yeah. You've gotten two done, correct? Yeah, but they got... They oh, you're back to square one. Uh, alright. Uh, slide up here, right? Yep, with advantage. Uh, 30, 20. That passes. You gonna try for a second? Yep. And the first one slides back into place. Uh, 15. The first one slides back into place. Shit. Alrighty, that is back to jam at the bottom of a hole. I climb again. <laughs> or uh, make the attempt to climb. Roll me acrobatics. That is a two <laughs> plus six, that's eight. <clears throat> Tr try it again. Yep. That is a eighteen plus six, I overkill it. Yes. That is 24. Okay. Jam makes it back to the top and the floor rematerializes. I look to Jake and say Appreciate that, brother. There's a moment where he's just, like, in the back of his head, like, I know I'm not an expert, but goddamn amateurs. don't work with non-rogues. Yeah. But at least I'm not with the cow. So, Jam? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's probably better. I also told about Celeste, sadly. <laughs> Yeah, so you are back out of the pit now, Jam. Is there anything you want to do? Uh, is the, the hole still open, or is it closed nope, the, now that I'm out of it? Nope, the floor has rematerialized. Okay. Can I approach the door? Yes, it is open, actually. Can I use my steel mirror to see if I can see any, anyone uh, on the other sides? Sure, I mean, you, you, you could very easily yeah. tell with the mirror... That there is nobody really in this room. It appears to be a very, very large reading room or library. Large room with I'm books gonna... on every okay. single wall is unveiled. Some in common, some in Dwarvish, others in Elvish. Each section its own language, and each batch of shelves its own subject. These are... I'm going to wait right outside the, the, the door and let uh, Jake go on first, just in case. Alright, that will be you then, Jake. Alright, I'll sneak in there. I'll, I'll scope it out for everybody. I'll roll sneak for it. Okay. Don't forget the extra d20. Oh, yeah. Let me roll the d20 for moon. moon. Uh, <coughs> that. All right. Yeah, you want the d20 for moon first? Or you want yeah, go ahead. Um, That's not bad. Uh, uh, 14? Okay, nothing happens. Oh, thank you. Roll stealth. That's not How bad. was that when I was walking? <laughs> well, that's fun. I rolled two sevens for stealth, so that's a total of 14. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move in. Take a look around. You said it's a library? Yeah. There are a few, like, single-seater, very soft chairs. Very low to the ground as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. Either dwarves or gnomes. One of the two. Well, I know it's dwarves, but uh, you never know. They might uh, outsource their... This is all happening in his head. They might outsource their uh, production of uh, defensive capabilities, but I mean, the Blightbeards aren't that bad off in capability. Anyways, uh, hmm. Let me... So nothing really, uh, without a roll, uh, nothing really pops out to me besides the chairs and the cataloged uh, books. It doesn't look as if there's one shelf that had a lot of use. Other than that, not really. Would I be, 
would I be able to investigate that show? Sure. Roll me investigation. All right. All dice don't fail me now. Oh, that failed me now. That's a uh, total of a seven. Uh, it looks like these books are about magic. Oh, I am an arcane trickster. That sounds phenomenal. All right. Is there anything you wanted to do, Jam? You kind of just held back there. Just want to make sure we don't. <laughs> you were waiting until I walked in. Just want to make sure we don't for skip me to you over. A trap. Yes, I was. You want to say we're even now, so I can save your life with the rope too. But okay, fair enough. Uh, can I go in and uh, just scope out the room, see if there are uh, any yep. other exits? Roll me a d20. God damn it. <laughs> okay. You need some physical 13. Nice, brother. Please. Nothing Please. happens. Nothing thank happens. You. Thank you, thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, you see Jake at the well-used bookshelf. Other than that, it appears as if there's just a door. Okay. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and move over to Bobby. Bye-bye. Uh, I roll perception. Okay. You guys? Go for it. I can hear you say it now. Ah, uh, that's another eight. Try one more time. <laughs> With advantage. Oh, that's a dat 20. Oh, damn. While searching literally everything, even organizing the ledgers by year and type, you find what appears to be a small crack in between two of the panels on the wall. Looks as if there's uh, something metal behind it. I can I reach for it? Sure. What do you want to do? Touch it. Grab you, it. You touch it. You grab it. What do you do with it? Pull it. You can you slide it into the wall. It appears as if there's some kind of metal door behind Pop it. it. Twist but it. But there is nothing except for a small round indentation around your. Waist height. So there's a door. A, it looks like, like it could door? be a door. Like, right? No, it no, it's it's like the, it's a normal sized door. It's just there's no doorknob or anything. It looks like there's just an indentation oh. in it. And that metal thing. That's oh, the metal the thing. Metal th That's the metal thing. The door is the metal. Yes. Like the outline. Okay. No, like the full thing is shiny metal. The whole door is shiny metal? It's one solid slab of shiny metal with a single indentation door. in dead center. Okay. Uh, is the indentation big enough for a coin? Bigger. Bigger than the rocking horse? The rocking horse is not the correct shape. I'm, I did see the other statues, right? Like, can I eyeball if they're if they any of them match? It looks as if the other three have a round pedestal of varying sizes. You rolled a d20 and got a nat 20, so the closest one would be the dwarf statue. Okay, like I I saw the statues. Uh, yeah, you did. You did. We know how much you love to use statues with the uh, forearm statue in Cloud Deck Crash. I mean, what do you want, man? Yeah, I will. Uh, I I will go grab the dwarf statue. Uh, I guess. Make me a wisdom saving throw. God damn it! I would not be the smartest. <laughs> hey, that's a little bit. You said saving throw. Yeah. That's a fourteen plus four, so eighteen. You feel queasy for a few moments, but nothing happens otherwise. I try jamming it into the little divot in the wall. The dwarf statue, when you get it nearby, immediately boom, sticks to it, into the divot. With a clunk, it turns 90 degrees to the right, and the door revolves, dropping the statue. It is now open. And you see... And... What you see is an extremely bright white light, but we're immediately going to move over to yep. Zoltan. Are you still helping? Um, yeah, I'm going to ask him, uh, do you think it's worth continuing? Honestly, no. Keep going. 
Would you suggest we go to the front or what? Yeah, I suppose we should keep moving forward. So do you leave the kitchen, Zoltan? Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna head back. You enter the preparation room, roll me a d20. Oh no. Oh yeah. This shit looks fucking crooked to me for some reason. Alright, a 15? Nothing happens. Do you move into the main dining room? Um, can I do another perception check while I'm in that room for the, sure. uh, the barred doors that were there? To see if they might oh, be... Oh, you, are you moving into the main dining room then? Because that's where they were. Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose I move into the main dining room as well. So you just go through the door? Yeah. As uh, soon as you... Sound... <laughs> as soon as you open the door, you hear a footstep to your right. Wait, what are you doing here? What? Uh, I, I cast uh, Charm Person. Okay, what do I need to do for that? Is that a wisdom saving throw? Uh, yeah, let me see. Wisdom one or wisdom saving throw, I think. I, yeah, I believe it said uh, wisdom saving person. Uh, bad, not person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was reading and saying yeah. something at the same time, sorry. Uh, so that's, I'm gonna, that's totally, I'm going to make that a fucking item. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cast it at second level. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no. Is there, is there more than one person there? Or you only there see the one. Alright, well, I guess I'll try to push this guy. saving throw. What? Um, there's a 16. Oh, yeah, that beats it. Shit! He just kind of <laughs> staggers for a second. Ugh, don't you try any of that on me! And basically um, just at this point, we're going to have a mini battle here. Um, can I... I'm going to roll initiative for this guy and add him to the order. Well, that's a great initiative roll. Shit. Okay. So Zoltan has used his action... So that would be you, Sid. Can I, well, can I use my bonus action? What do you want to do? To try again, because I could. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, no. Actually, can no. You cannot. I believe you I cannot can use cast. A bonus to you cannot like, cast convert. multiple leveled spells per turn. That is an actual thing. Well, I think something here said I can. Use sorcery per, uh, points. Oh, sorcery. Oh. oh. Meta magic. Meta magic. Or yeah. meta -ma twin spell. Twin spell. Uh, it's. You have quickened and distant. I believe you're looking for seeking spell, which is. Not here, sir. Dang. Mm -hmm. Should have rolled a heightened. That would have helped you right there. Damn, I thought I had something here. Alright, never mind then. Apologies. Sid, are you are in the main kitchen. All right. Uh, We're assuming this is happening while he's moving. Do you want to follow? Yeah. So roll me two d twenties. All right. First one is two. Jesus. Okay, so in the first room, I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. Alright. Fourteen. Oof. That is oh. thirteen piercing damage as spikes rain loudly from the ceiling. However, you do make it into the next room and see Zoltan and this seemingly underprepared adventurer. You've used your movement. Do you want to take any actions? Uh, considering that we do not have any witnesses, I'm going to go ahead and take out my bow and try to shoot him. Alrighty. Well, before that happens, uh, I do have... 
the quicken spell says when you cast a spell that has a casting time of one action, you can spend two sorcery points to change the casting time to one bonus action. Okay, so do you want okay. to change the previous spell to a bonus action and then get your action back? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, I was going to uh, just use the two sorcery points to make uh, my next action another spell, if that's possible. Or if that's you, how that works. You cannot cast multiple leveled spells per turn. I think you can only cast oh, okay. a cantrip. Oh, okay, so that overrides that unless I have some kind of feat or something. Well, I think if you wanted to turn it into a bonus action, you could then use your action to, like, Ray of Frost or something. Yes, I think it's bonus action spell action cantrip. I think. It, it is, or you can do okay. action cantrip bonus actions. You can, okay. you can do it both ways, technically. It's just you can only cast one leveled spell per turn. Alright, yeah. well, that makes sense. Alright, so what were you doing, Sid? Uh, longbow. All right, roll to hit. Does a twenty-four hit? Uh, yes. Somehow. Five piercing damage. Alrighty, I'm gonna modify the health of these guys just a little bit. You you said the quiet part out loud, DM. <laughs> no, I I did that on purpose just to let you know. Okay, fair enough. Alrighty, do you ha is there anything else you want to do, Sid? Uh, no. I guess you could say that I'm Hawkeye. In that case, this lightly armored individual is going to move slightly forward and make a spear attack on you. Me or him? You. Oh. That is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. That would be five piercing damage. And it looks as if he's going to use his bonus action to do something to his weapon. And we move back to Jam. Alright, so the only thing in the room is a bookshelf. Lots of bookshelves. Lots of... Okay, I'm going to leave that to Jake because I have negative two in intelligence. So anything <laughs> involving books would be useless for me. Unless, unless he just wants me to blindly just grab them and put them in my, my backpack. Which he probably doesn't want. I mean, if, if I wanted steel books, I'd, I'd throw them in my backpack as well. But I'm not I'm worried right now. Okay. <laughs> so I go to the door. Did I already open the door? No. Or did I just look through it? Okay. So I, I don't believe door. you did either on this one. Okay. So do I have to roll for to approach the door? No. No, you're in the room. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we I didn't the... happen to hear the, uh, hey, what are you doing downstairs, did we? No, you did not. Oh, God, there's a silence. So we're really far away. Yeah. Alright, so I go to the door and I do my, my same uh, steel mirror trick. Alright. It looks as if you see one individual at the end of another tiled hallway. This one with red wooden accents. Red wooden accents. Looks like oh, there are a hallway? series of doors on both sides as well. Uh, it, okay. The red wooden accents, is that the person or the hallway? That's the hallway. <laughs> okay. I was just like a I am group fucking situation. Like, yeah, you see this dryad, dryad. Like, I should have took fireball or burning hands. Looks as if this is a lightly armored individual. Okay, so question: If I cast darkness on myself, would that make my make me and I guess a fifteen foot radius sphere around me look like complete black? Or yeah, it would make it look it. like complete black. Okay, I'm not doing that then. Yeah, it'd be just a ball of shadows around you. Basically. Why is there a void in the corner? <laughs> that wasn't there before. Must have only uh, been a rat. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna use silence instead. Focusing on myself. So me and a tw or, yeah, 20 foot radius around me cannot make a sound. Damn, okay. Okay. 
And I'm gonna uh, the the, the and, uh... person at the end of the hallway is within that radius. He's within it, so he... Oh, no. Well, that's so bad, he too. can't make a sound. He also cannot. That is... Well, he uh, definitely knows something's up now. Well, hold on now. What? Uh, Ah, uh, see, before you did that, I was gonna make, I, I had a plan. Well, I mean, you don't have to go in the hallway on this turn if you don't want to, Jam. So can I go to the other side of the door just to keep him just outside the radius? Until Yeah, if you want to, you can back up a little bit and do that. Rashi, it says up to ten minutes. Can I just end it early? Yeah. Okay, I'll just end it now. And then I stick to Jake so we can actually make a plan instead of going without him. Alright, well, that is Jake, then. I'm going to whisper your cast ma uh, message again since it's a cantrip, and it's a great fucking cantrip, and I wish I knew about it before. <laughs> but point at my tall comrade, <laughs> and you hear this whisper, and no one else can hear this. I have a plan. I'll set a snare at the door. If we can lead him to the door, he'll be caught in the snare. So when you put that silence up, he won't be able to make a sound while he's entrapped. Sounds like... Sounds like a plan. Alright. So Beautiful. I'm going to use my recovered rope to... What do I need? I need, what, 10 foot of rope? I believe it's I 10, 25 yeah. feet. Oh, it's 25? Jeez. Yeah, which the spell consumes, so I'll only yeah. have 25 left. So I'll well, he can't save feet. you from another pit there, Jam. But I also have rope, so uh, if any of that happens, I can always just throw it up if I get That's in, fair. into another pit. That's fair. Okay. Uh... My only concern is the low deck save on this, but, you know, taking a chance, I'll go ahead and use the slot. I will set a snare just outside the door, just, like, reach my hand out and... Like, snap your fingers, or like, something. I was, like, fucking tapping my desk. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Using the, the, the rope, so there we go. That's, uh... Oh, wait. Are, are we going in, like, six-second rounds, or... It's kind of variable at the moment. Alright, I was going to say, because this is going to take a minute. Shit. We're, uh, we're going to probably end it there and go to Bobby, and we'll say you have it by the next time we roll around, yeah? You sleep in that blind I, I used to wear glasses, too, so... Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh. Come on. Yeah! Yeah!